You must have some idea why one of the richest men in the world invited you to his estate. The woman who called just said that Spencer Spendington wanted to offer me a job. A job? What are Garfield and Odie doing in the back seat? Oh, they're playing some sort of game Garfield invented. It's called Name That Sandwich. If you guess what's in the sandwich, you get to eat the sandwich. <laughs> Tuna fish? Nope, sorry, it's roast beef. Okay, next one. Swiss cheese? Nope, sorry. It's chunky style peanut butter and guava jelly with bib lettuce and applewood smoked bacon on toasted date nut bread. I know. That was your next guess. It says here, Spencer Spendington owns eight mansions, 37 cars, two private jets, the Klopman Diamond, a private zoo. Who owns a private zoo? Someone who's very, very rich. Nope, sorry. This one is ham. have mostly mammals in this section. The birds are over in the east wing. And oh, oh, you know what I just received? A California condor. Those are very rare, aren't they? They sure are. A lot of these animals are very rare. Of course. Eh, what's the point of having something that everybody else has? Liz isn't thrilled about zoos. She thinks some are good but some imprison animals that ought to be out in the wild. And some don't treat animals very well at all. Here, let's make a little survey. Hey, how's the food in this place? Oh, pretty awful. What little there is of it. They don't feed you enough? Life was better when I was in Africa. I just have to say, <laughs> we are all feeling low. Oh, wow. We're so far away from the world we know. Men came along and brought us here. We're in the wrong, wrong hemisphere. We huh? don't belong, that should be clear. Oh, one, two, three. Living in a zoo. Oh, Terry was too. Better hope it won't happen to you. Ooh. It's plain to see here, we should not be here. That's, That's why, why we are so. Open wide. Thanks. Uh, Mr. Spendington, who gets to see these animals uh, besides you? Uh, my friends. Your rich huh? friends. Can I help it if all my friends are rich? Remember this moment, folks. It's the last time on this show you'll see me giving food away. What John means is, does anyone ever get to come in here who isn't rich? Uh, my servants. Oh, and you two. Huh? Come, let me show you the most important exhibit in my entire zoo. Here's a sandwich for you. 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 Oh man, this guy has way too many penguins. Here's a sandwich for you. 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 Whatever it is, I think it escaped. It's an empty cage reserved for the animal I most want to add to my zoo here, which reminds me, Stella. Get Dinkum on the video phone. 
Right away, Mr. Spendington. Dinkum? As in Dirk Dinkum? Here's a sandwich for you. Here's a sandwich for you. Here's a sandwich for you. <laughs> you have to guess what kind of sandwich it is. <laughs> Wrong again. Here's a sandwich for you. Here's a sandwich for you. Here's a sandwich for you. Dirk Dinkum on line nine, Mr. Spendington. <laughs> Dinkum, what do you have to report? Afternoon, Mr. Spendington, sir. Howdy there, Mr. Spendington. <laughs> That was the rotten explorer guy we met up with last season. <laughs> Ooh, I saw that episode. He was so repulsive. You watch my show? Here, have two sandwiches. I'm still hot on the trail of a Mancian white lion for you. A Mancian white lion? One of the rarest, most beautiful animals in the world. There are none in captivity. Don't you worry, Mr. Spindington. Dirk and I, we'll find you one. I'll find him one, Buckley. You drive the vehicle and fetch lunch. Why do I no always have to fetch lunch? Back to I'd like to be in the middle of the action sometime. Don't you think I would? Mr. Spindington, you are not going to bring a Manzian white lion here and lock it up in captivity. Oh, I can afford it. I can afford anything. No! I mean, it's an endangered species. There's so few left. Now, I asked you here, Liz, because I need a first-rate veterinarian to take care of my animals here. Name your price. Not interested. Of course you are. Everybody's interested if the money is right. I said, not interested. You will be. You'll think it over and you'll come crawling back. They all do. Come on, Odie. I think we're leaving. Oh, this is the last sandwich. Can you guess what kind it is? Oh, nope, not salami. Hey, I was just kidding. It's salami. Boy, they look angry. I wonder how angry they are. What do you think, Liz? I think we got to fly to Africa and do everything we can to stop Dirk Dinkum from capturing a Manzian white lion and selling it to Spencer Spendington. I was thinking the same thing. Wow, that's pretty angry. Mm -hmm. I have this friend named Angie who used to work for Dinkum. I'm gonna text her. And we'll be landing at Manzee in approximately 20 minutes. That's two zero minutes. Angie says the last few Manzean white lions are in Manzia, so that's obviously where Dinkum is heading. And you say she was as mad as we were about the idea of trapping one? Hmm, <laughs> madder. You remember Angie? In that long episode where John found his old friend and your first donor, Lyman? <laughs> I think they're running it on the cheap flashback scene channel. Remember, we went down to Franistan to look for Lyman? That's where we first encountered Dirk Dinkum and his worm-like assistant, Angie. That's our tour guide who used to work for Dinkum. She helped us find that creature called the Zabadoo. And when Dinkum ran into the Zabadoo, he got what was coming to him. <laughs> and then some. Remember Angie was so grateful? You remember it now? Uh-huh. Good. Now don't forget, because there will be a quiz. Would you like some gum to chew while we land? It helps to stop your ears from popping. Oh, thank you. I'll take a piece. And I'll take a piece. Mm. And I'll take the rest. <laughs> Are you afraid of Dinkum? He looks pretty tough to me. John Arbuckle? <laughs> scared? <laughs> After what happened to him the last time we met? I'll bet he's too scared to come within a mile of me. <laughs> this is exciting. I don't think I've ever been to Africa before. It's the most mysterious and unexplored of all the continents. They say that Africa is John, by far. Oh, <gasps> oh. oh, John, it's so wonderful to see you. <laughs> John. I John. certainly hope this is Angie. 
<laughs> Liz, Angie. Angie, Liz. Oh, he's adorable, Liz. Uh-huh, he's taken Angie. Huh? It's called jealousy. It's like when I see someone else eating a really large lasagna. <laughs> okay. Well, let's uh, get out of this airport, shall we? I have this friend we're going to meet. His name is Armstrong, and he knows where all the Manzian white lions are. Remember what I said when I saw Arbuckle getting on the same plane as us, Buckley? I said that guy's gonna lead me right to one of them Mancian white lions. You know, we don't have to do it that way, Dirk. My uncle knows where there's one and Buckley, he... when I want your advice, I'll give it to you. Just drive. It's an empty cage reserved for the animal I most want to add to my zoo here. I'm still hot on the trail of a Mancian white lion for you. I think we ought to fly to Africa to stop Dirk Dinkum from capturing a Mancian white lion. You remember Angie? Liz, Angie. I have this friend we're going to meet. His name is Armstrong, and he knows where all the Mancian white lions are. Oh! <laughs> That guy's gonna lead me right to one of them Manzian white lions. A few months ago, I only knew of two Manzian white lions. There may be others. I hope there are others, but I only knew of the two. Something has changed? Hunters. A few months ago, they got one. The male, I heard. So there's only one left? Not necessarily. A bird watcher in the area told me she had seen two cubs. Twins, she thought. Recently born. That's good. Mm -hmm. See? I told you Armstrong knew all about this kind of thing. I have a map here I can no. give you. Oh, Don't what? give it to them. Oh. Sell it to me. Dinkum. You again? This would be a good time to boo and hiss the screen, folks. Afternoon, Arbuckle. <laughs> good to see you again, Angie. You're not getting that mad, Dinkum. Sure I am. I always get what I want. <laughs> Do you have any idea how much Spennington will pay me when I bring a Manzian white lion back for his zoo? How much? Enough that I'm not about to let you or anyone get in my way. So, Armstrong, how's about selling me that map? Hmm. Say, for this much money. You're wasting your time, Dinkum. You can't buy Armstrong for any amount of money. You've got yourself a deal, Dinkum. Swallowed <laughs> yeah. my gum. Fortunately, I have more. Thanks, Armstrong. You just made me a very rich man. Oh, Armstrong, how could you? Spendington wants to put one of those lions in a cage. A little cage where only his rich friends will ever see it. Hey, that was a lot of money for that guy to pay for a nine-year-old map that will take him in the wrong direction. Oh. Nice. While they go east, I'll fly us all to the west portal where the Manzian white lions are. And this will do a lot of good for the Animal Preservation Fund. This is great! Hey, Odie, we're going for another plane ride! <laughs> I know these little planes can seem scary, but don't worry, I trust Armstrong! <laughs> That's their plane. Why is it heading west? Probably making a turn before heading east. But they won't get there before us, will they? 
<laughs> After what I did to that plane, they won't get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. Nobody likes to be hated by the population Till I find I don't mind when they say go away Folks believe and perceive I am an abomination They despair, I don't care when they say go away Yes, folks think I am a cat Not somebody to be trusted My father thinks I'm bad My mother's totally disgusted I get kicks, playing tricks, causing people's degradation. Make a stink, I won't blink when they say, go away. Trouble's what I'm all about. So I am always getting busted. My doctor threw me out. Called me somewhat maladjusted. I delight in a fight, prompting endless confrontation. You should know I won't go when they say, Go away. <laughs> You're being even more ridiculous than usual. What about this plane? <laughs> Dinkum's assistant was what? <laughs> you thought it's not that funny? No, it's not funny. Because it's not the funny. Folks, we have a problem. Uh, Armstrong, what's wrong? She's not getting enough power. Might be a leak in the fuel line. <laughs> Looks like this is the end, boy. But I'm gonna try and look on the bright side. I'm never gonna say normal again. Can you put her down somewhere? John, take the controls. Uh, me? Uh, but, but I never, I, I... I'm never gonna have to eat John's meatloaf again? Feet on the rudders. Oh! Ah! Ah! Armstrong, I don't know what I'm doing here! Just as I thought, the fuel line is leaking. Looks like someone has cut it. <gasps> if we had some tape or something, I could patch it long enough for us to land. I don't have any tape. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> My last meal would be a piece of sugar-free spearmint gum. Gum! Cat, I love you. I love me too. This holds long enough for us to find a place to land. Armstrong, take over! Got it. Hold tight, everyone! Yeah! Yeah! We better find a place to land in a hurry. Here we go! Everybody, hold on to someone else! The next time I fly anywhere, I'm going by bus. <sighs> That's putting it mildly. Armstrong thinks there's a town 10 or 12 miles from here. We're going to leave you guys to guard the plane. Who will protect me out here? And of course, you'll have Odie here to protect you. I repeat. Who will protect me out here? See you in a couple of hours. I hope. We left you a lantern in case it gets dark. When you come back, bring pizza! Well, Odie, looks like it's just you and me here for a while. Is there something you want to do while we have all this time here? Uh. <laughs> Oh, 
like I was saying, my uncle knows where there's one of them Manzian white lions. Buckley, shut up and turn left. No, mate. We turn left about 30 kilometers east. Then we turn... We turn left here. No! Have it your way, Dinkum. Buckley, this is all your fault. You ordered me to turn left, I turn left. How is this my fault? Give me a minute, and I'll figure out how. <sighs> Armstrong, we've walked at least 15 miles. I know. There's a city in this direction. I'm sure of it. Do you think Garfield and Odie will be okay? They're gonna be alone so long. <sighs> I hope so. They may wind up being there all night. I know. But Garfield's resourceful, and I'll bet he finds something interesting to do to pass the time. I wonder if there's a good Chinese restaurant around here anywhere. Huh? <sighs> if we have to spend the night here, maybe we can sleep in this cave. I came in here to see what it's like, and also because the animators love these scenes. Odie, did you just walk over my foot? Oh, oh, I'm so sorry to hear you say that, because something furry just did, and I was hoping it was you. Here, I'll turn on the lantern and we can see what it was. It's probably nothing. Spiders! <laughs> Hundreds of spiders! Thousands of spiders, millions of spiders. Spiders to the left of me, spiders to the right of me. It's, it's a spider palooza. Not to fear, Odie. I know what to do with spiders. I will gush them. I will gush them high and I will gush them low. I will gush them up no. and I'll gush them down. Nothing will stop me from my spider gushing. Gush? Did I say gush? I meant entertain. Watch as I entertain all these fine, handsome spiders with my impression of the hundred yard dash. <laughs> I haven't run like that since the last time the twins were on the show. How do we get back to the plane? Oh, it's simple. We just go that way. Or that way. Or that way. Or that way. Or that way. Or... Odie! We're lost in the savannah! to Africa to stop Dirk Dinkum from capturing a Manzian white lion and selling it to Spencer Spendington. Ah! Armstrong thinks there's a town 10 or 12 miles from here. We're going to leave you guys to guard the plane. Buddy, we're lost in the savannah. We're miles from civilization, miles from human life, miles from a place to get a decent burrito. Which reminds me, I haven't eaten for six hours. This is the longest I've gone without food since John tried to barbecue spaghetti. What's that music? Huh? Hey, cousin, who do you be? I be Garfield and he be Odie. Welcome, weary travelers. I'm Bunky, and he's Funky. And I'm Funky, and he's Bunky. And he's Plunky, on account of he plays the accordion. Ukulele. Like I said, the ukulele. And together... We're the Baboon Brothers. Welcome, dog and cat. He's our welcome mat. We'll have a lovely chat here in our habitat. Yeah. No. You 
what a joy to me. Sorry about the heat. So sit and rest your feet. Have, Have something good, good to eat. eat. We spend our afternoon watching the best cartoons. Eating organic prunes. Hard, Hard work for three, three baboons. baboons. Life in the jungle is nice. And to be somewhat precise, you just found paradise. Here, here, here with us, us and the trees. trees, anything that you please, everywhere, greenery, picturesque scenery, everyone comprehends. That will all be, that will all be your new friends. <laughs> nice to meet you, Garfield. <clears throat> we don't get a lot of mice around here. I'm a cat. Like I said, cat. A cat's ear has a total of 32 muscles. You and your friend look kind of hungry. You're one smart baboon. We can let you share in our evening feast. We <laughs> always have our favorite traditional local recipe. Oh, I'm famished. Uh, but what is it? I know not what you call it where you come from, but here, the name we have for it is lasagna. <laughs> Spend the night at the hotel here, then go out first thing in the morning. Oh, I'm worried about Garfield and Odie, and about stopping Dirk Dinkum. Oh, I'm not worried about stopping Dinkum. Not with you around, John. Huh? Ahem. Hello, hello. What were you saying about Garfield and Odie? Well, we're worried about them. It's hard for me to imagine Garfield out in the forest, eating berries and plants. He must be so miserable. Life out in the wild, the place for you and me. Running merrily, that's the way life should be. Life out in the wild, go out and climb a tree. Forget all misery. We should never have left them with the plane. They must be so hungry. Some people surround themselves with walls that limit what they see. <laughs> They're probably cold and scared and bored and lonely. Life out in the wild, it's a total symphony. Filled with harmony, that's the way life should be. Life out in the wild, just hear the melody. When you're living free, that's the way life should be. Well, there's nothing we can do for them tonight. I suppose you're right. Come on, I'll walk you to your room. Poor Garfield. Poor Odie. This map that bloke showed me is worthless. Well, you can't blame that on me, Dinkle. Sure I can, <laughs> but I got a lead in the village. There are Manzian white lions up at the West Portal. Oh, I'm telling you, my uncle knows Oh, shut up about your uncle. We're going to the West Portal where I'm going to bag me a Manzian white lion. Great. Hey, how much is that Findington guy going to pay us? He's going to pay me so much I can buy the house next door to his. I'm going to take a nap. Wake me when we reach the West Portal. Oh, that was a great breakfast, guys. Oh, and a wonderful sleep. I am glad you like our native breakfast foods. We call that pancakes with sausage. Oh, I'll have to remember that name. Yeah. Now, you wanted to know about the Manzian white chipmunks. Lions. Like I said, lions. They're supposed to be these super rare animals, and they're supposed to be incredibly beautiful. Well, I think they are magnificent. But you can see for yourself, there is one up there. <laughs> that is Queen Tanya, the Manzian white lion. <laughs> Odie wants to know why she seems so sad. She is sad because she lost her mate. King Royal, they called him. It happened three months ago. Two months ago. Like I said, two months ago, King Royal, he was a fine figure of a lion, regal, majestic. When he roared, every animal for kilometers around snapped to attention. And he and Queen Tanya were a fine couple. 
And then one day, his hunting party came into the area. We knew what they wanted, what they all want. Woody wants to know, isn't hunting illegal? Sure it is. By international treaty. I looked it up on the net, see? Illegal to hunt or capture the Manzian white lion. So we did our best to distract them. Not work. When he spotted them, his first instinct was to stand his ground and fight. Still wasn't fast enough. <gasps> that was the last we saw of him. <laughs> was he, you know? We don't know. We think we know. And we think the worst. But Tanya is sure he's alive. Every morning she goes up there and waits. Just waits for him to come back to her and the children. <laughs> huh? Huh? Children? Just after King Royal went away, she had triplets. <laughs> twins! Like I said, twins! <laughs> the boy is named Prince, and the girl is named Princess. <laughs> Want to meet them? Queen Tanya does not talk much. Matter of fact, she has not said a word since King Royal went away. But we'll introduce you to the twins. <laughs> Come on! No sign of them in the play. And no sign of them anywhere around. Hmm. Which direction would Garfield have started walking in? Huh. Which direction is the nearest pizzeria? Say, I told you I saw them ahead on the road. Doesn't matter. While they're doing what we're doing, I'll be bagging me one very expensive lion. Come on. We'd better head for the West Portal. We have to reach those lions before Dinkum does. You're right. Let's just look around a little more for Garfield and Odie. Fine. John is amazing. So smart and so adorable. You're talking about my John? Of course. Uh-huh. I don't think she really understands that he's my John. I'm making real good progress, sir. Dinkum, we should go and... Shut up! I'm talking to the bloke who's going to make me very wealthy. Pardon me, Mr. Spennington. Yeah, I was just saying, if there's any way you could get the Manzian White Lion back here by tomorrow night, I'm having a party. Yeah, I'd like to show it off for some of my wealthier friends, the ones who own their own islands. I'll do my best, sir. Dinkum, we really need to pick up the bank. Will you shut up? Will you just say? Nice to talk to you too, sir. What is so all fired important that you have to interrupt me talking to a man who's going to give me millions of dollars? I realize this is a quicksand area. Quicksand? Quicksand isn't dangerous. <clears throat> Nobody in the world is stupid enough to sink into quick. Oh, quickly! <laughs> I'm telling you, Dirk, it would be so much easier if we called my uncle. I'm going with the uncle! Buckley, I've had it with you. You're fired! You'll be sorry, Dinkum. You'll be so sorry! Oh, call my uncle, and you'll be sorry you treated me the way you did. Better start walking. You got a long way home. Max, it's Dinkum. You still based in Manzia City? Sure, what's up? Great. You still got that helicopter? The one with the trapping attachments? Got it right here, ready to go. Perfect. I need you to pick me up and head for the West Portal. I'm through kidding around. We're gonna <gasps> bag me a very valuable beast.
Angie says the last few Manzian white lions are in Manzia, so that's obviously where Dinkum is heading. How much is that spending guy gonna pay us? He's gonna pay me so much I can buy the house next door to his. Ah! <laughs> Buddy, we're lost in the savannah. I'm Bunky, and he's Funky. And I'm Funky, and he's Bunky. We're going to the West Portal where I'm gonna bag me a Manzian white lion. Dinkum's on his way to the West Portal. He knows where the lions are. So we'd better be on our way to the West Portal. Garfield, where are you? Mr. Garfield, could we ask you a question? Yeah, could we? Oh, could sure. We? Go ahead. Well, what are you? Yeah, what are you? What do you mean? Well, Alice is a rhinoceros, and Brucey is an elephant, and Jeremiah, he's a giraffe. So, like, what are you? I'm... A cat. Uh, you can't be a cat. <laughs> what? Yeah, we're cats. Well, not all cats roar. We roar. Huh? Yeah, let's roar for him. Um. Yeah, yeah, not me, not me. <laughs> we want to hear you roar. We want to hear you roar. We want to hear you roar. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> you call that a roar? <laughs> Jeremiah Giraffe roars better, and he can't even make any sound. <laughs> okay, so I can't roar. I can do other things. Like what? Can you gallop across the ravine? No. Are you the king of beasts? No. Can you pounce on a dangerous foe? Only if it's a mushroom pizza. Listen, I do a lot of things. I eat and I sleep, then I eat and I sleep, and then for a change, I sleep and then I eat. Oh, and I mill normal to Abu Dhabi. Then I eat some more, and then I eat some more, and then I sleep. Hey. I am the king of cats. I'll follow aristocrats. Step up and doff your hats of me, I sing. I am the pet supreme, each lady's fondest dream. They always yell and scream that I'm the king. I am the king of cats. My fans, they all adore. They cry for more and more. I don't know where to store the gifts they bring. There is no cat like me. I say that modestly. The experts all agree that I'm the king. I am the king. The king, the king of cats. I am the king. <laughs> uh, you're not a cat. Nope, not. Cat. How are John and the others ever going to find us? Hey, Garfield, did you know that snails can sleep up to three years? Funky, is there a phone around here? <laughs> the nearest phone is way off the... Hmm. 82.46 kilometers away. Say, it says here you share your birthday with at least nine million other people on this Gotta planet. find some way to tell John where we are. <laughs> And I think I have to find it in a hurry. There's lines around here someplace. And there they are, two of them. What's that? That's the weirdest bird I ever saw. <laughs> a little on the small side, but they'll do. That's the kind of lion Spennington will pay good money for. That's the one I want. <laughs> What's she doing? 
trying to draw the hunter away from the twins. Come on. Here, hide these two. We'll hide you from the steamship. Helicopter. Like I said, helicopter. Whoa. A hunter! Huh? We gotta go save Mama! No! <laughs> no! We have one lion in danger. We don't need three. Find some way to tell John where we are. <laughs> no, there's no phone for miles. Funky looked it up on his computer and he said, <laughs> Hey, did you know that Wayne Newton is only four foot tall? Never mind. Can you send a text message on that thing? <laughs> sure. You got a phone number? Yes, it's a uh, 55542. Garfield, where are you? The lions and dinkum could be anywhere in this whole area. John, huh? I've got your cell phone here and you just got a text message. Not now, Liz. But it's from Garfield. Garfield? And he's given us the coordinates of where he and Odie are, and the lions. Give them to me, ladies, and hope we are in time. Run all you want. Eventually you'll be too tired to run, and I'll still be here. Somewhere in this area. Yeah, but where? Up there! That helicopter! That's got to be Dirk Dinkum! Yeah. <laughs> Bodie, do you know how to roar? <laughs> we'll learn fast! I'm about to make myself very rich! <laughs> What is that animal? <laughs> that? That's a very fat pussycat trying to distract me. <laughs> nice try, cat! You can lose the roar over, Odie. It's not working. Garfield! Come on! But we promise you, he is not going to keep her. At least we know where he's taking her. To the Spendington estate. It's not far from where we live. We can be on the next plane there. I have a friend who flies cargo there. He can give us a lift. You know how determined I was that time when John said no more pepperoni pizza? Uh -huh. And how determined I was when Nerma wanted to move in and turn the whole house into the Nermal World Fan Club headquarters? Uh-huh. I'm even more determined than those two times put together. Wow! We're almost ready to take off. The plane only seats four plus the pilot, so you two will have to ride in the cargo hold. In the cargo hold? Like baggage? What does he think we are, animals? But I still won't do it. I will not ride in a cargo hold. And I forgot to tell you, you'll be happy to know what the cargo is in there. Can lasagna. He didn't tell me this was a luxury flight. <laughs> Come on, Odie. I get the seat near the can opener. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. You can't leave without this. We're coming with you on the unicycle. Airplane. Like I said, airplane. Great, but where's Funky? Right behind us. <laughs> They insisted on coming along. We told him if he didn't take us, we were going to run there. They would have done it. And probably beaten us there. Okay, everyone aboard. Yay! No kidding, this Mr. Spennington has his own private zoo. Man, talk about rich. 
It's full of animals, rare species that belong back in the wild, or at least in public zoos where people can see them. That's no place for one of the last Manzean white lions. I checked and Mr. Spendington's having a big party at his estate tomorrow night. He probably wants to show off his new... Does anyone besides me think they're hearing music? It sounds like ukulele music. Huh? Ah. <laughs> we all have times when we see no solution to problems that arise. That's when you can make your best contribution, causing to vocalize. We can all face catastrophes, any kind that comes along. All you need to do is sing this song. We are here, we are here all together. Sing with all our friends. We will sing till we have fair weather. And we'll dance till the problem ends. Ah, dance away despair and gloom and doom. Everything goes better with music. We are here, we are here all together. We are dancing with all our friends. We will sing till we have fair And hey, it's better this way. Do you have any idea how much Spennington will pay me when I bring a Mancian White Lion back for his zoo? We won't hear you roar! Roar! <laughs> Max, after her! Okay, how do we get past the guards and get in? That's what I've been trying to figure out. Where'd John get the van? Oh, they borrowed it from the cargo company that flew us home. John can't figure out a way to get us inside, so it's up to me. All right, guys, here's what I want you to do. Go right on in, you're just in time. Mr. Spendington's about to unveil the newest addition to a zoo. There's two male guests, two female guests. <laughs> baboon guests, three baboon get. <laughs> Baboons? They must have gotten out of the zoo somehow. Stop! Stop, baboons! <gasps> Look, the god is leaving his post. This is our chance. Mr. Spendington, your zoo here is divine. I especially like those little bears with the black eyes. Oh, you mean my pandas. <laughs> Glad you like them, Mrs. Dumont. They're very rare and very expensive. Garfield, come what? join us. Yeah. Ha. We want to go, too. Yeah, we want to help Mom. Stay here, Odie. Guard them. <laughs> come on. I have no idea what to do. Sounds like a typical John plan to me. And as you know, I collect the most interesting animals from all around the world to share with my friend, my very rich friend. <laughs> with the help of famed trapper Dirk Dinkum here. Yeah. I bring you direct from Africa, the rarest animal in the world, the Manzian White Lion. Oh. Huh? This is the only one in the country, and I have her. Do what I do. That animal looks sad. Are you mistreating her? <laughs> you shouldn't mistreat animals. Yeah, we're decent people. We don't want any part of animal mistreatment. Why is that lion so sad? <laughs> no, no, no. This lion is happy. Very happy. Here, I'll show you how happy she is. Sir, I, I wouldn't go in there with her. Keep your advice to yourself. 
You can see she's too depressed to do anything. Uh... She can't even move. Please, assure us this lovely creature is not suffering. No, no, she's fine, she's fine. Get up, get up. <laughs> she's very happy to be here. <laughs> you want a man seeing white guy and Mr. Spindington? I brought you the best one. My uncle bagged it, and now you can pay me for it instead of paying that ornery bloke. Buckley, you double crosser! That lion! It's King Royale! What? It's King Royale! Queen Tanya's husband! Father of the twins! The one the hunters took away? Mama! <laughs> Someone! Anyone! Let me out of here! I told you my uncle had a white lion! But you didn't tell me you were right for once in your life! Guards! Deacon! Please! Somebody! Cat, please! Let me out! There are switches over there! Switches that unlock the cages here! Throw the switch marked Lion Cage! Okay! And while I'm at it, I think I'll throw this switch, and this switch, and this switch, and this switch, and this switch. They're loose. <laughs> All my expensive, costly animals that I paid so much for. Whoa! Whoa. Hey! Ah! I'm telling you guys, I don't have any more sandwiches for you. You work for me. Not anymore, mate. You fired me. Yeah? Well, I've got a good mind to hire you back. Just so I can fire you again! Whoa. And now the other lion is loose! You and I settle this later. Whatever you say, Dinkum. <laughs> let me out of here right now! No, leave, leave him here and let me out! Nice job, guys. What are the white lions doing? Reuniting. I want you to meet your son and daughter. Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone be quiet. I'm chief of police and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Remember back in Africa, you showed me that web page about the law against hunting these lions? Well, I've got it bookmarked. Who's responsible for this mess? Those people, they weren't invited. The trouble all started with them. <laughs> <laughs> and that cat, that cat let all my expensive animals loose. Cat, is that true? Yeah. I'm going to have to arrest you and your friends here. But you can't! Uh, let us explain. Before you do, Chief, maybe you'd be interested in, uh, this? 
Mr. Spendington, can you prove these Manzean white lions are yours? Absolutely. I'm buying the two big ones and those two little ones from these fine men here. Let me out of here right now! Because it says here that importing Manzean white lions is illegal and that people involved in doing such things go to prison for many years. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 I called the cab and it's on its way. Are you sure you don't want me to drive you two to the airport? Thanks, John, but you deserve a rest. <laughs> right. I was just telling Liz here that as part of his probation, Mr. Spendington has agreed to make his private zoo public and to allow the Animal Rights Society to return the rarest ones to the wild. They're going to spend a long time where they tried to put the lions, behind bars. Speaking of which, King Royale, Queen Tanya, and the twins should already be back in Africa by now. Back in their natural habitat. And those baboons, too. Uh, you're a fine man, John Arbuckle. And you're lucky to have him. Uh, I think so, too. Most of the huh? time. We got back three years ago. Three minutes ago. Like I said, three minutes ago. And already the lions are acting like everything is normal. <laughs> Odie wants you to say hello to Prince and Princess. Better than that, we'll let you say it yourself. Hello, Mr. Garfield. Hello. We wanted to say, well, we wanted to say we're sorry. Mm -hmm. We think you really are a cat, a really good cat. Ah, oh, shucks. Well, you two are going to grow up to be pretty good cats yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Odie, sometimes you go through a lot of misery. One picture comes along that makes it all worthwhile. Don't sit in a lonely room <laughs> With fear and with doom and gloom The world can become your stage If you break out of your cage Life out in the wild, the place for you and me. <laughs> Running merrily, that's the way life should be. Life out in the wild, go out and climb a tree. Forget all misery, that's the way life should be. <laughs> Hey!